Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this procedure safely. In this video, we will show one or more of these icons to alert you when to use caution. As with any repair, be sure you've unplugged the appliance before beginning. Your first step is to move the control panel out of the way. To do this, remove the screws found at either end. On some models, these screws may be located in the rear panel, or they may be covered by plastic end caps. Pull the end cap off from the top to access the screw. Remove both screws and rotate the panel up. Some models use clips instead of screws to secure the control panel. Insert a putty knife between the control panel and the cabinet to release the clips. Unplug the wire connector and snap out the spring clips using a flathead screwdriver. Tilt the cabinet towards you, slide forward, and remove. You'll need to remove the pump first to access the motor. Unsnap the retainer clips and wiggle the pump off of the motor shaft. Move it to the side. Detach the motor wiring harness. Next, remove the two screws from the motor retainer clips and snap off the bottom clip. Since the motor is heavy, support it with your hand as you snap off the top clip. Now, pull the motor out. Remove the three parts of the old drive coupler. Be aware you may need to use force to successfully remove them. You're now ready to install the new drive coupler. Carefully push one cog of the new coupler onto the gear case drive shaft as far as it will go and slide the new isolator onto it. Carefully push the other cog onto the motor shaft until it is flush against it. Line up the prongs on the cog with the holes in the isolator and slide the motor into position. Reinstall the retainer clips and screws. Reconnect the motor wire harness. Align the motor shaft with the pump and slide the pump on. Reinstall both pump clips. Now reinstall the cabinet. The front edge of the cabinet slides underneath the base frame. Use your foot to push it into position. Align the two notches in each side of the cabinet with the tabs on each side of the base frame. Now ease the cabinet to match up with the rear panel. Reinstall the spring clips. Reattach the wire connector. Rotate the control panel down and lock the clips into place. Or reinstall the two screws. If applicable to your model, replace the end caps by aligning the tab with the slot at the bottom and snapping the cap into position. You're now ready to plug the appliance back in to make sure it's functioning properly.